What's going on guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at ya with another Lord's Mobile video. And today guys, Chapter 5 of the Limited Dark Follower Stages, Nowhere to Go. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> We're going up against uh, the Griffin, by the looks of it, and Strix and Harpy. They could be quite deadly in these hero chapters, so we'll see how we go about that. No more than one hero can die. We must use Dark Follower, and we get Boulder as one of Jonas's companions, and he offers a shield. That could definitely be really really useful in this particular challenge let's see how we go with this as you can see i've already done it done it once or twice because i didn't realize i wasn't recording luckily i didn't complete it <laughs> before i realized so this is the last team i used didn't quite work for me so i'm going to go ahead and take tracker out and i'm going to switch tracker out for maybe someone else not going to use rose knight because i know so many of you tell me i ain't got rose knight when i use rose knight so we're going to go with tr uh, trickster and we're going to see how these three can perform let's get into the first stage all right, let's have a look what we're up against. So we've got some Strix coming at us. Strix isn't too bad. Now, as far as I was aware, Strix can actually normally make your units attack your own units. Is that right? Strix has got that ability, although I don't seem to be seeing it in this stage, to be fair. I don't see Strix doing it, so I'm not. that's actually a good thing, believe it or not. Um, so far, looking at this, their life's going down pretty good. I don't need to keep pressing the ultimates. Dark Follower's doing a pretty good job of healing, um, although he's a bit low there. Let's go ahead and use Pixie. Okay, good, good, good. I mean, this is looking quite comfortable. It's taking a little bit of time. They've got a decent amount of HP, but my heroes are staying up, and they're not going down too much, although Pixie almost died there. <laughs> but yeah, Stage 1 is not too bad at all. You might need to chuck a couple of heals in, but ultimately you're going to get through it relatively easy. We'll just take out this Trick Star. Here we go. I like when he fires at all those stars. It looks like popcorn. Um, there we go. <laughs> Stage one done. Now check this out. Harpy's going to fire out a whole bunch of these things. Look, so you put the shield on from Boulder. Look at all those immunes that come out of my tank. You see Death Knight immune to all those big attacks. If you let them big attacks hit you, it does actually take a lot of your life away. In fact, it can potentially kill your tank. So, of course, we put the shield on to stop ourselves from getting hit by the big attacks there. And now, as you can see, we're making some really good damage. Death Knight's ultimate is just so good here because there's such a good cluster of them. It just stuns them and pushes them all in different directions. Really opens up the field. And as you can see, they're dropping like flyers here. A combination of Boulder's Shield and Death Knight's Ultimate is really, really good in Stage 2. And by the time they get to fire off their Harpy Ultimate again, you just saw it go into Death Knight. They're all dead, so it doesn't really do nothing. Pretty good stuff. So, as you can see, he's going down. He's looking good. Nice. We can get into Stage 3. Now, Stage 3 is where it gets a little bit more tricky. Now, you see, I'm making a mistake here. Let's just, just see what I've done there. I put the Shield on as the Griffin comes forward. That's the bait, guys. That's what we call the bait. The Griffin baits you into pressing the shield when he comes spinning forward like that. You shouldn't do it. Hold the shield off because you're going to want to hold it off. That he's spinning around. That's just a simple attack, that spin. I'm doing a heal there with uh, Prima Donna. This is when you need the shield. Look at this. When he goes onto his back legs and starts flapping his wings backwards and forwards, massive damage comes out of that attack. And as you can see, I have no shield. I have no heal at this point. I'm doing my best to try and keep on attacking. But ultimately, with no, with no healer, and, you know, Dark Follower trying to hold on. Boulder's almost dead. I got close here, to be honest with you. I got close. But look at this. There goes the Griffin attack on the Boulder. Look. He's going now. Bang. There it is. So, yeah. I, I lost that one. Because at this point in the game, I still hadn't really worked out that I needed to hold back that shield from Boulder for when the Griffin does that attack. <laughs> so, we're going to get into another, another one, though. But I do end up changing my team up a little bit. So, you see, I'm going to change it up. I'm not going to put Tracker in. I'm going to go for two tanks at the front. Okay, and this time I'm going to go for Child of Light. Because this works out really well. Because you've got the nice stun from Death Knight. And then you've got the big stun from Child of Light. So this was my first attempt with this team. You see how I'm changing team. Truth is, I probably could have done it on that attempt I just done there. If I'd used the shield correctly. But still, at this point, I still haven't worked out that I need to use my shield when the griffin starts flapping its wings. So I thought it was a team issue. So I've gone ahead and switched out um, Child of Light for Trickster. It's really interesting watching back, realizing the mistakes you made. Um, but of course, we do learn from them. So let's just continue and see how this goes. Taking out those Strix pretty, pretty well. They're going down nice and easy, that's good. Focusing on that Trick Star again. And he should be going down any second as he keeps popping out popcorn everywhere. Good stuff into the second stage once again. I worked it out here. <laughs> you push the shield when all those harpies come flying in. 
Nice. It looks really beautiful, actually. <laughs> okay, cool. So we load all the defense. We've done all that. We're going to do some magic attacks and some stuns. Looking nice. Nice big stun from Death Knight. Coming in with Dark Follower. Bushka. There you go. And we've still got the heal from Pixie sitting, sitting behind us waiting. And you can see, once you've done that big stun and used Dark Follower on them, they tend to go down pretty quickly after that. Another one goes down there. Looking nice. We don't want to use Child of Light stun because they're too spread out. We can use another boulder though, get another shield going. Just to stop us from taking any kind of more damage. Nice, still a few hoppies up, they should be going down. Looking good, so yeah, stage two, stage two, stage one. I mean, these two are not difficult, they take a little bit of time to get through. Um, but ultimately, they're not, they're not too difficult. So we're going to go into stage three now with this, this double tank combination of Child of Light and Death Knight. With the two stuns. Let's see if I, I still haven't worked it out. <laughs> I used that shield at the start when Griffin comes spinning in. So, yeah, I may have discovered it or realised halfway through this maybe. We'll see how we go. So, we're going to go ahead and fire Dark Follower off into all that, all them Harpies and Strix. It's looking nice. Lots of damage. Again, Griffin spinning around everywhere, flying around the map, doing damage to everyone. Big heal there for Boulder from Pixie. And then I go ahead and I put, I put a shield on there. Did I put a shield on there? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know why I put a shield on there, because what the shield's on, it's on now, which is good, but then look, it runs out and then the damage starts coming. And although I do the pixie heal, Dark Follower just got melted. Down to four heroes. Yeah, that, if that, see what I'm saying? If that shield had been applied a little bit later, just as he started doing the attack, then none of them would have lost any life. Um, it would have been a lot better. Um, and I think I realized it at that point during doing this, that hang on a minute, I need to use that shield when he does that wing attack. So again, I'm healing him up. I'm trying to hold on here with four heroes to see if I can do it. Let's have a look. Ah, so oh, Pixie went down. Got hit by the Trickstar and the Griffin. Okay, so I feel this team definitely can work, okay? It's just a case of I use... Then this, again, I just realized at this point, this is why I've just pressed replay, not gone back to the team selection. I realized during that try that that team could definitely work, it's just that I'm messing up because I'm not actually timing my shield when I need to when the Griffin starts attacking. So on this attempt now, we're going to do exactly that and see the difference, okay? The difference in the result in Chapter 3 of this. But first of all, let's just quickly get through Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. And again, just using that Death Knight Ultimate, you know, that really does mess them up on Stage 1. You can also throw Dark Follower in as well. Just to give you that little bit extra. But normally if you do it at the start, by the end, you'll always get your ultimates back again, which is pretty good. You can see Death Knight's just got his back. Looking good. Going into stage two with all our ultimates ready. Okay, and again, shield up straight away on stage two to stop you getting smashed by the harpies. And then we can use a Child of Light stun. Don't use Death Knight yet. Wait for the Child of Light stun to run out. There you go. Now use Death Knight. Bang. Freeze them all. And then we can go and follow that up with a Dark Follower attack. And already their life is diminishing. By the time they get to use any more of those Harpy abilities, most of them are going to be dead, which is exactly what we're looking for. Again, lots of Harpies dropping really fast now, which is good. I'm going to go and use another Death Knight just to, just to space them out a little bit more. I don't know why spacing them out helps you, but it really does for some weird reason. And again, Harpy going in with that special ability does a bit of damage to Death Knight. There's still a few of them standing, but that's okay. We've still got a Prima Donna Hill, so we're going to go ahead and use that now boost the health right back up see if we can get prima donna back to ultimate before we get into the next stage let's have a look is that gonna happen one more harpy to take down one no, two more actually we might you look at look we use that hill and prima donna's already rough ready to rock and roll for the final stage awesome stuff good timing okay this time we're gonna use the shield we need to so when he comes flying forward i'm not gonna go ahead and use it okay so actually it lagged and i missed it anyway <laughs> Okay, so he's jumping around, and I'm not using my shield. I'm just not panicking right now. Quick heal from Prima Donna. Good. I'll wait for him to go back down on his hind legs. He does get frozen by Death Knight's ultimate. That's worth noting. Look at that. He got frozen there by Death Knight's ultimate. Okay, he's jumped. He's still jumping. He's attacking. He's not on his back legs yet. Big stun from Child of Light. There he goes. All right, he's flapping. He's flapping. Now we're going to go ahead and put the shield on from Boulder. Looking good. Right, while the shield the shield's on Boulder, we're taking no damage from the flappy, flappy wings of... Griffin, get myself healed up, looking good. Still no damage from Griffin, and the shield runs out just as his attack runs out. It's almost like it's time together. And look where we are now. The enemies are almost down. We've still got almost full life, which is awesome. Big stun from Death Knight. Didn't quite catch the Griffin. 
Looking nice. He's coming. Griffin coming in for the attack. Child, Child of Light puts the shield over, over Pixie. Quick heal from Pixie. Gets him back up. It's a close angle camera as he flaps his wings in an attempt to destroy us. But he can't because the shield is up. Looking nice. Looking nice. He can't do anything. And he's down. The Griffin is down, people. Let's get it. <laughs> and then we can go and get the Trickstar at the back. You know what? I'm going to hit him with Death Knight's ultimate. Eat this. Mm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we can continue hitting him and boom he's dead look at that timing that's all it is i guarantee this isn't, it isn't the only team that can do this um, it just comes down to timing when you're using your boulder shield ultimate just don't use it on the third stage until you see that griffin put his back legs down and start flappy flappy his wings around and then you want to go ahead and activate the boulder shield all right Leave your comment down below as to what team you used um, so you can help everybody else out. And I hope you didn't find this too difficult. Once you know what you're doing, it's not that bad, to be fair. I'll be back tomorrow for stage six. The final stage, guys. The Grim Reaper. Is this going to be the one that gets us stuck? I don't know. So far, they've not been too bad apart from Challenge 1. Challenge 1 was a bit of a bish. But, you know, the others haven't been too bad at all. Grim Reaper, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow too. So, until the next time. You know how this next bit goes, right? Stay safe, everybody. And, of course, peace out.